Section 6 colon 2 Introduction to Modern Portfolio Theory 6.2 Portfolio Monitoring and Rebalancing Establishing a process for monitoring portfolio performance and making necessary adjustments is crucial to ensure that the portfolio remains aligned with the investor's objectives and market conditions. Here's a step-by-step -step process for monitoring and adjusting portfolio performance, set clear objectives, start by establishing clear and specific objectives for the portfolio. These objectives should align with your investment goals, risk tolerance, time horizon, and any other specific requirements. Objectives may include target returns, risk targets, asset class allocations, or any other relevant benchmarks. Define performance metrics. Identify key performance metrics that will be used to evaluate the portfolio's performance. This may include measures such as total return, risk-adjusted return, sharp ratio, trainer ratio, volatility, maximum drawdown, or any other metrics that are relevant to your investment goals and risk preferences. Selecting appropriate performance metrics will help you assess whether the portfolio is meeting its objectives, establish monitoring frequency, determine how frequently you will monitor the portfolio's performance. This can depend on factors such as the investment horizon, the level of activity within the portfolio, and the availability of reliable data. Monitoring can be done monthly, quarterly, or at other intervals that provide sufficient data to evaluate performance accurately, gather and analyze performance data, collect the necessary data to assess the portfolio's performance. This includes returns of individual assets, benchmark returns, and any other relevant data points. Calculate the performance metrics identified in Step 2 and analyze the results to evaluate how the portfolio is performing relative to its objectives and benchmarks, conduct performance attribution, perform a detailed analysis of the portfolio's performance attribution to identify the drivers of performance. This analysis may involve assessing the contributions of asset allocation decisions, security selection, market timing, or other factors. Performance attribution helps identify areas of strength or weakness within the portfolio and can guide adjustments, review market conditions, evaluate the prevailing market conditions and economic outlook to understand the broader context in which the portfolio is operating. Consider factors such as interest rates, inflation, geopolitical events, sector trends, and macroeconomic indicators that may impact portfolio performance. This assessment will help determine whether adjustments are necessary to align the portfolio with changing market conditions, conduct risk assessment, assess the risk profile of the portfolio and compare it to your risk tolerance. Evaluate the portfolio's exposure to various types of risk, such as market risk, sector concentration risk, or credit risk. Identify any potential risks that may have changed or increased since the last assessment. This evaluation will guide the adjustments required to manage risk effectively, determine adjustments, based on the analysis conducted in the previous steps, identify any necessary adjustments to the portfolio. This may involve rebalancing asset allocations, making changes to specific holdings, adjusting sector exposures, or implementing risk management strategies. Adjustments should be driven by a systematic and disciplined approach, considering the portfolio's performance. Market conditions and risk objectives implement adjustments. Once adjustments are determined, execute the necessary trades and adjustments to align the portfolio with the desired changes. Ensure that adjustments are implemented efficiently and cost-effectively, taking into account transaction costs, tax implications, and any other relevant considerations, monitor and repeat the process, continuously monitor the portfolio's performance after implementing adjustments. Repeat the monitoring and adjustment process at regular intervals to ensure that the portfolio remains on track and aligned with the investment objectives. Adjustments may need to be made periodically as market conditions and investment goals evolve. Remember that portfolio monitoring and adjustments require careful consideration and should be guided by your individual circumstances and investment goals. It is advisable to consult with investment professionals or financial advisors who can provide expert guidance tailored to your specific needs, 
implementing a disciplined rebalancing strategy is important to maintain target asset allocations and ensure that the portfolio remains aligned with your desired risk and return objectives. Rebalancing involves periodically adjusting the portfolio's asset allocations back to their target weights. Here's a step-by-step -step process for implementing a disciplined rebalancing strategy, set target asset allocations, determine the target asset allocations for your portfolio based on your investment objectives. Risk tolerance and desired diversification. This involves deciding the percentage of the portfolio allocated to different asset classes such as stocks, bonds, cash, and alternative investments, define rebalancing bands or thresholds, establish rebalancing bands or thresholds that will trigger the need for rebalancing. Rebalancing bands are predetermined percentage ranges around the target allocations. For example, if your target allocation for stocks is 50%, you might set a rebalancing band of 5%, which means you will rebalance if the actual allocation to stocks deviates by more than 5% from the target, monitor portfolio performance, regularly monitor the performance of your portfolio and track the actual asset allocations. This can be done using portfolio management tools, spreadsheets, or online platforms that provide portfolio tracking and performance analysis capabilities. Monitor the asset class weights and assess whether they have deviated outside the established rebalancing bands, identify rebalancing opportunities, when the actual asset allocations deviate beyond the rebalancing bands, it's time to identify rebalancing opportunities. Determine the specific trades or adjustments required to bring the portfolio back to its target asset allocations. This may involve buying or selling assets within the portfolio, consider transaction costs and tax implications before implementing rebalancing trades. Consider transaction costs and potential tax implications. Evaluate the impact of trading costs, such as brokerage fees or bid-ask spreads, to ensure that the rebalancing strategy remains cost-effective. Additionally, be mindful of potential tax consequences, such as capital gains taxes, when rebalancing taxable investment accounts, execute rebalancing trades. Once the rebalancing decisions are made, execute the necessary trades to adjust the portfolio's asset allocations. This can involve selling assets that are overweighted and buying assets that are underweighted. Be mindful of market conditions, liquidity considerations, and the availability of suitable investment options. Document and track rebalancing. Document the rebalancing trades executed and maintain a record of the rationale behind the rebalancing decisions. This documentation will help track the effectiveness of the rebalancing strategy over time and provide insights for future adjustments, review, and repeat the process, regularly review the performance of the rebalanced portfolio and repeat the rebalancing process at predetermined intervals or when the asset allocations deviate beyond the established rebalancing bands. This ensures that the portfolio remains aligned with your desired risk and return objectives. Implementing a disciplined rebalancing strategy helps maintain the intended asset allocations and can provide benefits such as risk control. Maintaining diversification and potentially capturing opportunities arising from market fluctuations. However, it's important to note that rebalancing does not guarantee superior returns or prevent losses. The frequency and timing of rebalancing depend on individual circumstances, investment goals, and market conditions. Consulting with a financial advisor or investment professional can provide valuable guidance on establishing an appropriate rebalancing strategy tailored to your specific needs.